A rentier is someone who lives on economic rent uh, by uh, either being a landlord uh, or being a monopolist and charging a higher price than uh, it costs to produce a good, uh, or uh, a financial uh, a banker who simply can create credit on a computer and charge interest for it. So a rentier is uh, someone that is not technologically necessary for society. Uh, you, for instance, most societies have the same technology. Soviet Russia, the United States, China, Europe, they all had the same technology, but they all had a, uh, a different organization of real estate and banking, and hence rent and interest uh, and anti-monopoly rules. So uh, the least regulated economy became the most uh, parasite-ridden, where you had an overclass that didn't work, that didn't produce goods and services, but just charged for housing, charged uh, for money management, uh, charged for m uh, monopoly goods, and uh, that's what the economy is turning into. And in a way, it's a neo-feudal economy. What does neo-feudalism mean? Because I know you define it in, in the book. Describe neo-feudalism. Well, it means where uh, people control the economy, uh, not necessarily by militarily uh, speaking, but where everybody in the economy, in order to break even, has to pay an enormous, uh, almost all of their income, to the people who possess property. In feudalism, this was the landlords. But today, uh, it's not only the landlords, it's the bankers behind the landlords, and it's the uh, uh, monopolists. Uh, uh, and the landlords altogether. People have to spend so much money just uh, for a place to live. They, uh, unlike serfdom, they can live wherever they want. They're not tied to the land, but wherever they live, they have to go into a lifetime of debt to pay off enough uh, uh, earnings to have a house of their own. Or if you don't uh, take out a huge mortgage debt, you're in New York and paying $4,500 a month. You say euthanize the role of the rentier. Well, that was Keynes's term. And when he, Keynes talked about euthanasia of the rentier, what he really meant was lowering the interest rates or uh, governments financing their own deficits rather than borrowing from the banks. He meant uh, you get rid of the need to charge interest. Uh, you, uh, for instance, if you had public banking in the United States, you wouldn't have to have credit card fees of 2 or 3% as a monopoly. You wouldn't have credit cards charging 29% uh, uh, interest rate fees. You would have uh, money lent actually to produce goods and services, to create capital, not simply for corporate takeovers uh, and uh, distress uh, borrowing. He wanted to get rid of uh, all of this money going to the financial sector that he said wasn't necessary, but was only a result of the financial sector's control of government and control of public opinion that made it appear as if the financial sector somehow was necessary for the economy to work, that if, if Goldman Sachs partners didn't get their $22 million a year uh, in income, the economy would fall apart because who else would, uh, would need it? Uh, it's as if we need the rich to save us.